Hi friends and welcome, I'm Megan Harney from the blog Our Handcrafted Life and today we're going to make farmhouse style outdoor pillow covers. So right now we don't have any patio furniture at all. Our patio is full of other things but not patio furniture because we built patio furniture when we moved into our house uh, six years ago and it was just it was falling apart. We really need to replace it. And we have plans to do that, but we haven't quite gotten there yet. Well, I made a storage bench to act as kind of patio furniture as well as storage for outside things like pool noodles and balls and dishes and all that kind of stuff. So I made that storage bench and I needed outdoor pillows to go along with it. Well, I love this like farmhouse cottage style that's happening right now and I could not find any outdoor pillows that fit that style. So I decided I'm gonna make my own. So I bought these outdoor pillows on Amazon and I'll link them below. They're polyester. They're probably not like completely waterproof or anything. I'm still gonna bring them inside when we're not using them, but um, they're gonna be a little bit more um, weatherproof than just a typical indoor throw pillow. So I'm just gonna make a pillow cover to go over these pillows that's gonna have an opening in the back so that I can change out the pillow cover with my taste on a whim whenever I feel like it. Um, and then we're gonna use some Scotch Guard to cover the pillow and to cover the cover and make it just a little bit more weatherproof. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is measure your pillow from end to end. And I'm glad I did because the package said this pillow was 18 by 18 inches, but it actually wound up being about 18 and 3 quarter inches by 18 and 3 quarter inches. After you measure your pillow, you're going to cut your fabric. Now I'm actually using drop cloth from the hardware store. I love it because it's really cheap. It was like $6 for this piece of drop cloth. It's durable already, and I know if it gets messy, you know, if a kid makes a mud pie on top of my pillow, which could definitely happen, I can just take it off and toss it in the wash. It's not a big deal. So I'm using one that's four foot by five foot long, and since my pillows are 18 and three quarter by 18 and three quarter inches, I can get three pillowcases out of this one piece of drop cloth. For the front of the pillow, you're going to cut a panel that's the same size as your pillow. So for us, that's 18 and 3 quarter by 18 and 3 quarters. Now you don't want to add any extra room on the edge for a seam allowance because you want the pillow cover to fit pretty snug. Now for the backs, because we want to have that little overlapping feature, it's going to take a little math. So you take the width of your pillow, so 18 and 3 quarters, and you divide that by 2 and add 2 inches, and then you're going to cut out 2 of those panels. So for our pillows that are 18 and 3 quarter inches, we're going to call it 18 and a half for easy math. So that's going to be 9 and a quarter, and then add 2 inches, so it's 11 and a quarter. So we're going to have 2 panels that are 11 and a quarter by 18 and 3 quarters for our pillow, but you can do that with any pillow. If you have a 16 inch pillow, then you'll take 16, divide it in half, which would be 8, and then add 2, which would be 10. So you would have a 10 by 16 inch piece. You would have two of those pieces for the back of the pillow. So I'm using my ruler and my rotary cutter to cut this out, but you could definitely just use a pair of scissors. So when you're done cutting, you'll have a piece that's the same size as your pillow, and you'll have two pieces that are half the size of your pillow plus two inches. And you're gonna line them up and pin them. Now I actually use the edge of the drop cloth that was already sewn to be the outside of my envelope opening. But if you don't like that look or you don't have that on your drop cloth, just fold over the cloth and iron it and then sew down the seam so that your pillowcase won't fray. And make sure that you use a coordinating color of thread because you will be able to see this seam on the outside of your pillowcase. Once it's pinned, we're ready to sew, and we're going to sew a line all the way around the outside of this pillowcase. And you don't have to leave an opening because this will be the opening to get your pillow in and out. Now make sure to start, you go backwards and then forwards in order to strengthen the end of your seam. When you get to the corners, you're just gonna 
leave the needle down, lift the presser foot up, and pivot. I'll show you when we get there. So when you get to the corners, leave the needle down, pull the presser foot up, and pivot your fabric. Then put the presser foot down, back down. Next you're going to snip the corners making sure you don't catch what you just sewed um, so there's not as much fabric, not as much bulk when you turn your pillowcase out. Then you turn your pillowcase inside out and you want to push the corners. You don't want the corners to be rounded in your pillowcase. You want to push those all the way out. So I usually just use my scissors or a dowel or something like that to carefully push all the fabric into like a perfect point in the corner. Okay, it's starting to look like a pillowcase. The last thing to do is just stuff your pillow in. So now you've got a super cute sham pillowcase with a little surprise in the back. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if y'all have any questions. And if you want to see more videos about living simply and creating beautiful things, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Bye.